Welcome to Falcon Lake. We're going to start our fish tank coordinate six. Um, we are starting at Falcon Lake with the rainbow trout. Um, pretty easy. Uh, kind of go where the trout spot are. There are a couple things I will mention though. You're going to want to cast out here. Um, definitely guys, the jig head is going to matter on this one. This is like the one time where it matters quite a bit. You have generally want it to be less than a one ounce jig either a three or a four out hook but make it less than one ounce or 28 grams otherwise it'll just drop to the bottom and you probably not going to have very much luck i didn't catch a single one till i switched to the three quarter ounce 21 gram um jig head I had no luck no I mean I had nibbles but they weren't doing anything then they switched and I got a little bit more action and they started hammering it pretty good guys so we'll meet you at the next lake all right guys and for the historic common schnook and the Everglades of Florida here go to the salty Delta I threw out here like crazy and I really struggled um, and I was watching where people were going because uh, I was struggling and I was throwing in the same spots as them and it wasn't until like 7 p.m. at night that these things started lighting up uh, you use twitch you can throw I would recommend throwing over here by this mark and twitching all the way back and if you get if you're not having no luck try over here I did get one over here, but I spent, you can see, I spent a whole day and a half without really advancing at all, just trying to get, um, throwing everywhere out here, trying the normal schnook spots, trying the other ones, and this is, them are the only two spots that worked out for me, and them are the two spots I've seen the majority of players fishing at too, so. Oh, hey, at San Joaquin. Uh, Delta, you're going to want to spawn in at Foggy Sanctuary for the historic striped bass as we continue on. Um, fish take coordinate 6. And this is kind of an interesting one. Um, as I got two here and three here, if I remember correctly. Um, and these guys just for normal peaks. Uh, you just reel in normal on one. There's nothing fancy about them. They're not the fastest to catch, but they're not the slowest to catch either. It's not too bad. Um, and it looks like we are on to Alaska next. Alright guys, we are at Kanik Creek for the historic bull trout. You're going to want to spawn in the hunter's cabin. And you're going to come right across here. And uh, you're going to want to use twitching, by the way, on speed one. Um, this is pretty easy, especially if you go to one of these days, a cloudy day. Um, about five o'clock, they start hitting pretty good. Um, and you're going to throw out just across there and twitch all the way back. Pretty easy guy to get. Uh, once you get on the right right time frame um, and just keep in mind this uh, fish tra uh, the fish coordinates six ends up at San uh, Joaquin so you definitely want to save that to last oh hey guys to fi finish up a fish uh, tag coordinates six we are gonna go to the foggy sanctuary get on your boat and the canoe is over here um, really glad to get this one done it was a lot of fun but this one uh, kind of was probably one of the tougher ones obviously it was number six and what you're going to do is the boat is going to be right here and you just toss out and hook it until you get your fish treasure guys hopefully this video helped you guys out just make sure you guys do San Quentin last or San Joaquin last otherwise you have to come back here like I did 
and uh, waste a lot of money. As you can see, I have 96 total dollars to my name. So have a good one, guys.